Spanish 4, Contemporary Life, Vocab 26 through 30. To repeat is repetir. <laughs> no one's going to miss that. It's basically the same word in English and Spanish. Now, I want you to notice, one of a kind is irrepetible. Irrepetible. Literally it means it cannot be repeated. That was a one-of-a-kind one event or a one-of-a-kind accomplishment. Now, ir means not, and we kind of know this. Everybody say responsible, responsible. What's the difference of being responsible? Being irresponsible. So if repetir is to repeat, irrepetible is it cannot be repeated or it's one-of-a-kind. Now, we know that cocinar is to cook. Everybody say cook, cook. The cook is in the kitchen. Cocinar is to cook, and cocina is kitchen. Well, ero means a person who, in an entry-level skill, like mesero is a waiter, someone who brings food to the table. It's an entry-level skill. Or, what's another good one? Niñero is a babysitter, someone who takes care of little kids. It's a entry-level skill. So anytime you see ero as a suffix, it means a person who entry-level skill. So a cocinero is a person that cooks. Obviously, if you want to be a cook at a fast food restaurant, it doesn't take years of college and training to do that. To attempt or to try is intentar. It, I wasn't it wasn't my intention to try to cut you off, or I wasn't trying to upset you, okay? Now, you're a Boy Scout, and you bring all of your gear, and it looks like it's going to rain, so you put all of your gear into the tent. And your Scout match Master says, uh, get into the tent. And you say, I keep trying to get in the tent. I keep attempting to get in the tent, but it's so crowded with my gear, I can't get in. <laughs> Intentar, to attempt or to try. Efficient or effective is eficaz. A lot of the same letters. E-F-C, E-F-C, E-F-C. Now, there are two F's in English in efficient, and there's only one F in Spanish. Because remember, C-E-L-R, seller, are the only four commonly doubled letters in Spanish. All right, let's take time for a post quiz. I'm going to cover up the Spanish. Please take a few moments, look at the English, and say, or even better, write down the Spanish equivalents to make sure you've learned these. This has been Spanish for Contemporary Life, vocab 26 through 30.